Hello everybody. Welcome back to Homesteading Off the Grid. Miss Cleopatra and I are sitting here watching our chickens, aren't we? Today is our first day to free range our 12 chickens. Um, five of them were our originals and then we got a bunch more. Now we have a dozen and this is the first time the newer ones and they've, they've been shut up for a few weeks. We had Hurricane Florence coming through or a lot of rain associated with Hurricane Florence coming through. So for their own safety, we let them stay shut up for a while. But now we've turned them loose and we just wanted to show you guys what it looks like for our one dozen chickens to be going around the homestead. And uh, Miss Cleopatra is making sure to keep her eye on them, aren't you girl? You watching those chickens? Hmm? All right, it is beautiful out here in early October, fall morning. And what do we got down here? Hey there, Mr. Roger. You got all your girls in one spot? This is their favorite spot. You haven't been down here in a few weeks, have you, buddy? What you think, huh? Does it feel good to have freedom again? Sorry, I left you locked up for a few weeks. But all the Rockport hens are new. Now, we had our astrolobes. But all the Rockport hens are new. Roger's taking a fancy to them. Go figure. And we got some over here. Uh, that's uh, part Polish. And then the... There's another rock port that's new. So they're here, about half of them's down here and the other half's up here. Let's go up here and see how these guys are doing, these girls. Roger, I'll tell you, he's got one heck of a big harem and he's having a hard time keeping his eyes on all of them. But uh, oh, these walnuts are crazy. We just cleaned up a bunch and now they're all over the place again. So far so good. I let them out about an hour ago and the first thing they did is, is not surprisingly, they went up there into the wood line and I thought, oh great, there we go. They're gone. They're gonna go up there and maybe whoever lives over there is gonna be upset or whatever. So I went up there to look for them and they were just up there in the woods, scratching leaves and eating whatever worms and grubs they could find. And uh, But they didn't cross over onto the next property. They came right back down here. I think they're still in curiosity mode right now. You want to see one of the projects I'm working on today is raking up grass cuttings, not to fertilize the garden this time, but actually to pack away for our winter hay. Starting up there at the top, and yes, I will rake this nearly three acre field. Well, two something, and then about an acre down there. I'll rake it all, and I'll get it done in one day. I'll do it today, and it's not the first time. I've done it before. I know that's crazy, but I mean, that's... I homestead, that's kind of what I do. Of course, I have blown most of it in the lines with the mower. See how I blew this way and then blew that way. And I'll do a little bit more blowing before I rake. But I don't want to be starting up the mower or doing anything with power equipment. Uh, I have a, a leaf blower that I might be able to use too. But I want to let these chickens run around for a while before I turn on anything that might scare them. But so far they seem to be doing okay. You having fun free ranging your girls for the first time, Roger? All your new girlfriends? When we got these hens, they were uh, going through a molt. And they've gotten back most of their feathers, so that's good. Yeah, that's good, isn't it, girl? This is so much healthier for them than keeping them shut up. Feeding them grain and leftovers and whatnot. Cracked corn. I mean, all that stuff's good for them, but... Out here is where the good eating's done. These worms, the grubs, the grass. So, so I'm gonna be keeping my eyes on these guys out here today while I'm raking up three acres of hay, grass cuttings to be used as hay, and I'm gonna start chopping up some firewood too. And of course, Dearly's gonna cook something. And I'm gonna eat it. And so, if I didn't participate in all this physical activity, Tell you, her food would make me a big boy. So, like Roger there, huh, Roger? So, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video here. Uh, just wanted to show you our chickens free ranging for the very first time since we've gotten the additions. Now that all the rains passed from the hurricane and uh, the weather's cleared up and they know where to go home and roost tonight, we decided to start letting them out. So, thanks for being here with us, and we'll see you for more next time here at Homesteading Off the Grid.